Hi guys, I am so excited. I was waiting for this day for Last of Us Day because I was hoping we would get a first teaser trailer and we did. Yeah. Oh, okay. So what I'm doing today is along with the first teaser trailer for The Last of Us Season 2, I'm also checking out the first look we got like two months ago, I think. Beginning of August, so one and a half months ago. Because I resisted watching this. <laughs> I was like, I'm already so excited and this is only like a 20 second clip. <sighs> it's just gonna make me so much more impatient if I watch this. So I held back. But now that we got a two minute teaser trailer, I figured I just do this too. And yes. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So my history, I guess, with The Last of Us. I got introduced to the world of Last of Us with the first season. I knew there was a game called Last of Us, but I didn't really know what it was about. Um, but yeah, I watched the first season, loved it, was great. And then I was like, okay, you know what? Eventually I kind of want to play the games. <clears throat> but I never owned a PlayStation, so... I was like, okay. Either I could just watch some playthroughs, and I'm not the biggest gamer anyway, so... I was kind of thinking what to do, but then at the end of last year, as an early gift for myself, a Christmas gift for myself, I bought a PS4 secondhand and played both parts in like, I think, one month. And uh, yeah, I loved it. And <laughs> you can crucify me, I don't care. I like the second part more than the first one. I just had a lot more fun playing it, I liked the gameplay a lot more. I love the story. I love Abby. So yeah. Um, so that's that's that. Um, during my reaction, I will try to keep it spoiler free in case there's anyone who hasn't played the second game or any of the games. I might squeal and say names in excitement. So that could be, I guess, a little spoilery. But uh, yeah, I'm, do I'm gonna do like a spoiler sections where I just go through the the trailer and look at what I recognize and stuff after but first it should be free of spoilers okay enough talking let's get to it starting with the first look um <laughs> uh, also happy last of us day forgot about that okay did you hurt her <gasps> then what what did you do I saved her. Oh my, oh my god, okay, wait, that was so fast. Holy shit, okay. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't watch this last time because there was like so much just characters and stuff, not really a lot to go on. She's like, oh my god, I need more than that, so good decision on my part. Holy shit, the beginning, oh my god. That looks so good. This one woman, I think her name's Catherine O'Hara, Catherine O'Hara or something. I've never seen her anything, but I've seen her on social media after this dropped and people were talking about her. So yeah, I'm excited what her role's gonna be. <sighs> okay, let's get into the first trailer. First teaser. Oh my god, okay. You want to start or what? Pearl Jam. Oh my god, Jax looks so good. Oh my god. Let's try something different. You can't heal something unless you're brave enough to say it out loud. Say the thing you're afraid to say. Oh my fucking god. Say it out loud, no matter what it is, no matter how bad. Oh my 
What did you do? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, what the fuck? This looks so good. Oh, this looks fantastic. Oh, my heart is like going crazy right now. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> that was a lot. That was, that was... Holy shit. There was just so much I recognized and and just like holy shit they put that in and then it's like oh, oh my holy crap that horde coming at I guess Jackson Okay, okay, okay. Oh. I need to watch the... Okay, in the first look thing, I was like, I don't know if it's just edited together that Joel is talking to this this lady. The, where is she? The song! The song! Oh my god, okay. That if, she's if he's talking to her, it's just edited that way because that's just like what trailer does. Trailers do at times. But she also had like a clock, so is he getting therapy? Is this a therapist? Which, honestly, very much needed, let's be honest here. <laughs> but, I mean, I guess I can see Jackson having a therapist. If any community in The Last of Us world had a therapist, it would be Jackson, so. I also saw speculation that she might be um, someone from the games. I tried it. It's be spot of which I could have seen it well as well. But yeah, okay. okay. Another go through without spoilers because they were I just. Oh. Oh, you want to start or what? Joe looking very excited to be in therapy, which. <laughs> Tag Nirvana in the bag. Oh, I love this. Let's try something Morphle different. Moon. You can't heal. Oh my god, look at that. That's beautiful. Oh. Something unless you're brave enough to say it out loud. Oh, oh man, look at her, look at her. Oh. Say the thing you're afraid to say. Say it out loud, no matter <laughs> what it is, no matter Sorry, how Sorry, couldn't help myself. I love just... Oh, wee! Oh, oh, I didn't even notice in the bag. Oh. Oh, the blood out thing gives me from season one vibes with the, the granny in the first episode. What did you do? Oh my god, she looks so good. That's terrifying. That's a terrifying sight. Oh man. Oh, terrifying. Absolutely terrifying.
Feed her love. Ooh. Oh, oh, I was so happy when they announced that they got Jeffrey Wright to do this. I was like, yes, yes. I want to see more of him too than we got in the game. Oh my god, okay. Call me Maria. That's here. I didn't expect to get a like a specific date. I was fi thinking we were probably gonna get that with the real trailer, like the main trailer, just like the first season got. I was a little bit hoping, but it's fine. <laughs> this is gonna be so good. Oh my god, okay, okay. Okay. Spoilers, from now on. Spoilers, I'm gonna go through it again, talk about everything I know or remember from the game. So if you don't wanna be spoiled, and it's gonna be major spoilers, like there's so much to spoil <laughs> for the season, it's crazy. So yeah. Thanks for watching until now. If you have played the games or for some reason don't really care what big story plot spoilers, welcome to stay and freak out a bit more with me. Okay. Let's go through this again. Again, spoiler warning. <clears throat> so there was speculation that she might be the like prophet from the Seraphites, which I could have seen because we got a lot more, not a lot more, but we got some differences in the first season and more background story for characters. So I could have seen if they went to the past of the Seraphites and how the prophet died, how Eslav told us. As is also usual in religion, how the Seraphites then took her um, message and twisted it to their own kind of uses and started killing people and stuff. But I guess not. So this definitely looks like she's a therapist. Oh. You want to start or what? Oh, Joel's gonna love this. Yeah. This song's lyrics too, like, this is the perfect song for The Last of Us Part 2 because it's just... That's just... That's that's it! If I ever were to lose you, I'd surely lose myself. And that's just so true for pretty much... Pretty much every character, like the main characters at least. Ah. Oh. Such a good choice. The Miller House? Ah, oh, if they showed a scene with the flowers laid out. Oh my god. Also the guitar. Oh. Let's try something different. I can't hear. I wonder at one point I wanna lift this is Abby. Unless you're brave enough to say it. That's Ellie and Dean on patrol in the beginning. Also, oh my god, okay. <laughs> I was wondering how they were gonna do this. Like, are we going chronological timeline? Are we going same timelines as in the game with flashbacks and stuff? I was just like so curious how they're gonna translate that to the screen because I was just like so curious, you know, and <clears throat> having seven episodes, right, for the season, I was like, okay. At first, I was kind of going, Jesus, sorry, with maybe they're going to have another 10 episodes. Obviously, last season, they put episode one and two together, so we ended up with nine. But if they also, if they again had like a 10 episode, like, uh, spot for the show from HBO, I was like, how are we going 10 episodes and stop there? Like, where would be the stopping point for this? Are we? And I figured if you're going in chronological order with seven episodes when that came out, 
seven episodes, I was like, okay, I could see them actually going in chronological order, putting all the flashbacks in the beginning and stuff, and then end the season with Joel dying. But then I was like, oh, if we're doing that and we're starting off season, season three, whew, that's... And I figured, no. <sighs> I was just, you know, my mind was going in place. Like, oh, how are they going to do that? But, like, from stuff we see, Gina and Ellie are already in Seattle. That was my other theory. That maybe we're not going chronologically. We're going just, just like the game. And the end of episode one is going to be Joel dying. Which, <laughs> that will be a bang of a first episode. Holy shit. But yeah, okay, okay. Out loud. Oh. oh. This fucking scene. This fucking scene. Holy shit. And it's it's crazy and also really great that I that is such an optional thing in the game. Like if you don't go into the music store. This is a music store, yeah, it's a music store. If you don't go into that music store in Seattle, you never get to that part. You may learn about it from like watching others play the game or just seeing a clip online or whatever, but you could play the whole game through and never get to that and never realize it's there, which is kind of awesome. It's like, oh my God, I'm so glad I found this. Holy shit. Oh, look at Dina. Oh. I don't know this actress, but oh my god, the way she looks at Ellie. <sighs> so I was like, oh my god, of course they put this in, but then this scene, the porch scene. <laughs> it's gonna fucking break me. <laughs> Say the thing you're afraid to say. Oh, he looks so good with the stick back hair too. <clears throat> so having this already in the season two thing. This makes me think this is the flashback. Not like that one moment she has at the end of the game where she sees him in a quick flash, but the whole flashback scene where she goes to see him. So that makes me think that we're gonna get kind of out of the order of the game a little bit, with flashbacks some taking place beforehand. If we're gonna get the whole scene, maybe this is just also in the show, just a quick thing where... I don't know, oh my god. I cannot wait, oh my god, I'm very too excited. Oh my god, I love Jesse. Jesse's great. Um. I love the whole dynamic between Jesse, Ellie, and Dina because it's never, it, it's not a love triangle, it's just a friendship, first and foremost. And yeah, there's obviously a little bit of tension because of the whole situation they have, right? <clears throat> but it's never like, ugh, love triangle. It's I never got the vibes that it's about that at all. And Jesse is just, bleh. Jesse is such. Jesse is just such a great guy. He just cares so much about his friends. Ah. Oh. oh, and Tommy in the, in the front. Ah. Say it out loud, no matter what it is, no matter how nice. bad. Oh, it's a two man. Oh, I'm guessing this is the horn we see in. Further down the line, when that's coming towards Jackson, hello, that I don't remember that happening, right? That's something they added, which holy shit! Oh, that must be. Oh no, wait. I'll say I was thinking this must be when Abby also encounters the horde, and obviously that would go other places too. But Tommy wouldn't be in Jackson at this point. 
But they always, but Maria talked in the beginning of the game how there were more sightings lately of stuff, and she sent Joel and Tommy out to. Uh, I don't know. I don't really. It, it doesn't really matter anyway. Maybe this is after. But it's still winter, so. <sighs> Just seeing the bag with the fungus in the front. Holy shit! Holy shit! Abby looks. Okay. Obviously, Catelyn, when she was casted, I've only seen her in Unbelievable. She was amazing. And I was like, okay, is she staying Abby? Yes, I can see it. She can definitely bring the whole. She can definitely bring the whole, like, thing, the whole range to this character. Um, I didn't really see, like, how she would be in the show if they were just... Okay, I, I don't really care about, like, accurate, I guess, uh... I don't care if an ad adaptation has an actor who looks exactly like it's described in a book or how they look in a video game, for example, as long as they get the essence of the character right, you know? So that's definitely more important to me than just... Yeah, oh, sh that person doesn't look like the character, though. It's like, can they play that character? Like, if they have what it takes to play the character, I don't care if they don't look like it. So, but holy shit, she looks like Abby. That's crazy. So I guess I wasn't expecting like this. Holy shit. Oh, the braid. Iconic. Also is this, this grave. Holy shit. But who I think it is. Oh, oh wait. What did you There's do? a chain. Is this, is this a firefly? Maybe even her fire. Oh no, she's still, she has a chain too back here. So this is um this firefly thing. Uh, Holy uh, fuck! Oh, that was terrifying to me. Oh, then we have Joel. Ooh. Oh my god! Oh fuck! That's them. Oh, that's Joel and Abby, and then Tommy on the second one. Oh, look at that scenery! Oh, Seraphite, feel her love. Yeah, look how far they... Well, it's not that far into the Seattle journey, but like... Holy shit. Oh, that's like... <clears throat> yeah. Isaac is brutal. I want to see more of him. Like we didn't get a lot in the game. I didn't find it disappointing or anything, but I'm interested to just get more of him. Like more of his motivation, his past, how he ended up there. I think I watched a, kind of a couple of interviews after playing or everything. Um, and I think Neil said that. Isaac was a firefly and he knew Abby's dad. Oh, I forgot Abby's name. Uh, Abby's dad's name. Was it Jerry? Jerry, right? He knew Jerry, so that's why she went to Isaac and joined the WLF. I could be making that up though. <laughs> oh. Oh. That subway scene? Shit, with the red lights and... There, they got molotoved. My favorite method of killing infected in a game. Just so effective. Oh, shit. So is, is Dina gonna get the whole Ellie's immune? Yeah, she has to, right? In the season and the pregnancy reveal? Oh my god, there's so much gonna happen. What is this scene though? They showed this in the first look too. Oh, this fucking tear. What is this? This is a... 
Ellie, and she, she looks like she's just wearing. A, uh, I wonder if this is a flashback to. To uh, the, um, the hospital in St. Mary's, but I don't. As far as we know, she was never awake, so I don't know why. And that kind of looks like a federal uniform, more than a Firefly person. Yeah, if anyone has an idea, let me know, because I'm kind of stumbled on that one. Also, this whole distorted, like... Ugh. That's the same sound they use during the scene, right? And it just stops, like, when she got kicked in the face. Oh, this is... But the only one. That's not. Uh, now I'm thinking. Now that I think about the scene where she gets kicked in the face, is this the golf scene? But at the same time, she looks like she's wearing more like a hospital gown or anything. So I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god, she's gonna kill it though. But. Also that window shot. Wow. Oh. Oh my god. This was amazing. We got so much. At the same time, I feel like if you haven't played the games and you're just watching this, I don't think there's a lot that's given away at all, which is always what I, I, I want in trailers. I typically don't watch trailers anyway. Obviously, I'm not, scared, I'm not scared of spoilers because I already know the whole story, even if they're going to change stuff, which they are bound to do. But, ah. Uh, holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my god, this is going to be amazing. Uh, I cannot wait. I hope we're gonna get another, like, early year release, just, like, for the first season. And, I mean, the timelines of, like, when they ended filming kind of are the same. Like, season one, they stopped. They finished filming in, like, May, I think, and this, this time in June or July, and they only have seven episodes. So I could see them doing another like January release, maybe. Oop. I just don't want to wait. I just I would just want to see this. Oh. Okay. That's it. Wow, half an hour. I don't think I've ever talked this much about the trailer. <laughs> but also, now I'm gonna go watch this again, and then I'm gonna watch other people's reactions because I. I'm so hyped. I can't move on now. All right. That's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, leave your comments about your theories about that one scene in particular, but also how excited you are. Okay. That's it. Have a nice weekend. Until then. Bye-bye.